All right, we are into game three of X-17 versus SECA. So far, it looks like we have things, I believe, tied up 1-1. I will check that score in just a minute. But first, let's go ahead and do player introductions. Up here in the top position, in the 12 o'clock position, is going to be our Korean hero. It's going to be Faust. Awesome. Good stuff to see. He's going to be playing Protoss for us today. And over here in the right-hand corner in the 3 o'clock position, his teammate, TY2. Going to be playing the Zerg. And down here in the 6 o'clock position, we're going to have our other Zerg target from X-17. And Robot Vulture, who played an excellent game last game, is going to be rounding out the roster for X-17 over here in the 9 o'clock position. Again, like we saw in the DM Fire versus cute small map, uh, game. We're also going to be seeing close positions for these Zerg players, so they're going to be able to see what's up immediately. Much earlier scouts coming out from Faust. He's going to be trying to get some information on his opponent very quickly. And he's actually going to get it over here very early, start harassing this uh, SCV. Actually, he's just going to go straight in. It looks like it may be a gas steal coming out. Ooh, we see a target on the mini-map. I don't know if you guys saw that, but that definitely means that Faust wants to push that down pretty quickly. So we're probably going to be seeing a double, maybe even a triple gate coming out from him while he tries to delay this barracks for as long as possible. Meanwhile, on the other side of the map, we've got that 9 pool speed coming out from his ally, TY2. We have a 9 pool speed to follow up on the bottom side. Looks like uh, mirrored builds for our Zerg players, except for slightly later gas for target. It's going to give him a little less map control in the early game, but it's going to be pretty decent. Not a good wall from T. Indeed, again, this is one of those things where if you want to be doing this correctly, you really need to put the barracks on the bottom. Put your supply depot up here. And you're also pretty safe. So, going to be mining gas early on for our Terran player, so it's not going to be that triple, double, triple barracks play that we saw before. It's actually just going to be a very fast factory play. And that might come back to bite him if he doesn't build a bunker here early on. If you go for a fast factory, you really need to build that bunker in 2v2 or BGH scenarios. Otherwise, it's really easy to just straight up lose. Especially when your opponent is going double gateway zealot plus the 9 pool speed. Looks like both Zerg players are just going to be jockeying for a position, trying to get a good position on the map. Really nice placement on this Creed Colony is going to keep him pretty safe. And very fast tech to Lair instead for our Zerg player. So going to be having very fast Mutalus to follow up on top of these Lings whenever he gets the economy to do so. So far, both players just scouting out around the map, trying to get a good idea of what's going on. Here's the bunker coming down as well. But is it going to be in time? There's lots of links coming out across the map and not a lot to actually defend. Is he going to be able to get in here in time? He's going to be able to snipe one of the SCVs. Is this... Oh my gosh, is this bunker not going to finish on time? The bunker's not going to finish on time. Oh my god. That was so close. But, I mean, at the same time, you have to look at this. There are links now in the main base. This isn't a full wall off. So, these links are going to be able to get plenty of damage in here. Be going to be able to be very annoying for a very long time. And with a couple of follow-up zealots coming in here as well, it could be problematic. Luckily, his, his ally is going to help out with a couple more lings, sending them up here, but that opens him up to an attack up pretty soon. Meanwhile, oh my gosh, what is this? A photon cannon in the front? I love it, Fast. You're a genius. Allowing his opponent to just play very safely. So Fast is going to be spending all of his minerals while allowing his opponent to dump all of his gas and all of his money into very fast mutilus. I really like this play coming out from Faust. So far, these things just being really annoying. They're going to be able to delay for a very long time while the Terran player is still trying to get out their mech units while they're still trying to recollect this economy. And this may be an overcommitment to Lings over here chasing these around. At this point in time, you can just leave four or five and send the rest of your units elsewhere. But I'm not sure that Target can actually keep up with that as he's having quite a bit of trouble with this Ling Micro coming out from TY2. TY2 is playing a very excellent game so far. But finally, those links do get cleaned up. And, uh, whoa, we actually had a couple of Zealots walk in here. Going to be able to do some serious damage to that second colony, kill it off. 
wobblings were elsewhere, but unfortunately not able to break the economy entirely. Still, this does set our Zerg player back quite a bit. The Evo Chamber actually going to be coming down because he doesn't have the money to build a Spire right now. Spire almost finished for TY2, so we're going to be seeing those mules coming out pretty soon. I love this commitment to cannons out in the front. This is really solid from Faust, really knowing how to play team games at their absolute peak. He's actually going to be getting some Photo Cannons for himself as well, just to make sure he doesn't die to the Ling counterattack. We've totally won this, he says, and watch Faust die. Just kidding. <laughs> two I2, let's let our guard down. That sounds like a pretty solid idea. So Photon Cannon is going to be warping. He needs to stay, stay alive for long enough for this Photon Cannon to actually go down. But this is a ton of links. He's going to have to pull probes and micro really well in order to get this. But I think he's going to do it. I think this is a pretty solid save from so far. The second cannon does finish and uh, all of the links go down. So really nice defense there from Faust. Although he does need to pay attention to these couple of probes. That was end up losing him, but not a huge deal. First Mutalists are out for TY. TY is going to be harassing on the side of the map. Meanwhile, what has Vulture been up to? What has he been doing? It looks like he's getting a couple of Goliaths to defend. But so far, the map control and basically everything is going in favor of SCCA right now. They're going to be able to do tons of damage, but TY needs to watch his Mutalists not lose one for free. That's a little bit of an unfortunate rally. You want to rally your Mutalists right there and then pick them up instead of rallying directly in. So it looks like he may just decide to set his sights on the Tyrant player as well. This one spore is going to be enough to thwart him for now. And he needs an OP for mines. That's that's silly. Why do you need to clear up mines? That's silly. He's going to be trying to do a little bit of damage with these Mutalists. Start doing damage. But the Goliaths are already out. They're going to be able to start pushing this out. And Goliaths are insanely cost efficient against those units. So we probably won't be having too much of a problem with that. Meanwhile, we got Dragoon range coming out from Faust. Looks like Faust is going to be going for a heavy gateway army, going for the expansion over here right now at the same time as well. So I like this commitment to gateway units now. Gateway units are very beady. They, they do pretty well, generally well against everything without upgrades. So I like to see that stuff so far. And actually, they're just going to call GG early. Yeah, there's just too much pressure coming out from SCCA. Well played, so they're going to take the lead 2-1.